Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. And I have um, decided that I'm going to try to do all 12 Zodiacs, a 2020 prediction, um, love, romance, finances, spiritual, whatever spirit thinks you need to know. For some of you, it'll be one thing, and for others of you, it'll be something totally different. So I just asked Spirit to give me some cards on what you can expect in the near future. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I've got quite a few, my, my channel's grown quite a few people in the last couple of days. So welcome and don't forget to like and share. And if you haven't subscribed but you've been watching, if you like what you see, please please subscribe and join our love tribe. Okay, um, I'm also offering some specials on just until January 1st. So if you like my readings and you would like a personal private reading, don't forget to check out the description box below. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Capricorn. I'm starting with, um, it's your lunar re or solar return, so we'll just start with you, right? Okay, so um, let's see. I got a lot of cards here. Do I want to put it down so you can see the cards? Yeah, why not? I don't know. It's not. I don't think you're going to be able to see them all. So we'll do like we normally do. We'll keep you up here, and you can look at my ugly mug, and I'll hold the cards up as we read, okay? My table's not big enough. I live in a little trailer, and I got a little itty-bitty table, so... All right, so let me just pop out all these cards and take a look at what we've got. If you give me just a moment. I drew them ahead of time because um, I wanted to get as much information as I could. And we would be here all day long if I shuffled on camera. And I really don't want to spend all day long because... You have important things to do, I'm sure. It's a holiday season, at least, and I have a lot of things to do. So, let me just take a look. Three of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Okay, so I just, uh, I wanted to read the energy here. I feel like, um, this is my prediction for 2020. I feel like you've been on a journey. I, I think intuitively you have a plan on what you would like to bring into 2020. We have the Three of Pentacles. I'm trying to decide where I want to go first. I think I want to start with this Wheel of Fortune. Okay? You have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And I love this deck. This deck is red from the upright and the reverse. There are two different pictures. Okay? So what I see in this reversal for you... You might be dealing with a Leo. Hmm. I feel like you've been stuck in some repeated cycles. When the Wheel of Fortune shows up in your reading, it's because things are cycling through. There is karma being cleared, right? I'm hearing that you've been stuck in a cycle. You need to make some reassessments. 
Okay, we've got the reassessment card. I just feel like whatever it is you're trying to manifest, because we've got the three of pentacles here, okay? So you're working on a project. You're collaborating. You're possibly, could be about finances. Boy, Spirit's just been really trying to talk to you, Capricorn. I'm seeing you've got family, friends, and guides. You've got Imrama. I'm not exactly sure what that means, that word, but... What I'm seeing here, it's a journey. Like, where are you being called to journey to? It's like your spirit guides are really trying to, to help you navigate. This Wheel of Fortune's in the reversal. And you've got Freya here that says you're dealing with phases and cycles. There, there is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. And... I don't know. I just feel like you're stuck. I feel. I don't know why. I feel like your spirit guides are trying to turn the wheel for you. You've got animal guides here. Animal kingdom. It says animals of all types are extraordinary creatures and miraculous gifts to us. They may be speaking to you. They could be your companion. You could be seeing signs and synchronicities out in nature. It says they all have lessons to share with you that will open your heart and soul. And then here we have the differences card. It's like the yin and yang. And you've got more animals here. So I just see a lot of spirit around you. I feel like you're being gently moved out of an old cycle. Here you've got the six of swords in the upright. This is leaving choppy waters and going into calmer waters. It's also swords as thoughts. So it's cerebral. It's feeling like uh, your thoughts are jumbled and not in alignment and you feel like you need to move um, forward in a situation but I feel like you are just you're resisting I'm hearing that you're resisting that you need to allow the flow you need to allow the collaboration your spirit guides you're surrounded by friends and family and spirit guides that are trying to help you navigate navigate forward in 2020 turning your fortune around right when you can get out of the loop because um when we get stuck in a karmic loop it you got to look at why why am i repeating the same old cycle could be with the same person it could be the same job maybe you're attracting the same kind of energies into your life but you've been stuck in a loop is what i'm hearing so then we've got this healer of thought which is the queen of swords in the normal deck it says it's time to clean up your life get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you feel disorganized and that's what i'm feeling with this really with the six of swords like your mind has been confused and cluttered um, people who take from you but don't give back should be released as well you or another person involved in this situation is wise insightful and caring has a wonderful sense of humor and lots of life experience um the queen of swords for me she's my no bullshit queen she doesn't take any more bullshit right but i feel like you've been taking bullshit Quite honestly, I feel like you've been taking a lot of crap. You have been stuck in a karmic cycle, either in a karmic relationship or uh, um, feelings of what unworthiness or, or everybody's is different. Okay, and I'm reading for the collective. So you've got to apply it in your life. But I see collaboration. I see building structures i see you moving into calmer waters you've got a lot of help a lot of help this is a number six it's a spirit card look at how this girl is just lit up she's walking on water okay so you're being inspired you're you're she's 
walking in faith. If you look, her eyes are closed. Then we have this beautiful lotus flower in unfoldment. Unfoldment. See, the lotus flower is all about enlightenment. It's, it's uh, reaching for the light. Um, the lotus seed is down way under the water in the muddy, murky, dark, and the flower. And if you've ever seen one, their their stem is super long, and it just it grows and grows and reaches to the surface to get to the light. And up here, you've got this beautiful sunshine. See, so it's like your way is being shown in 2020. You're going to be reaching for the light. And you are divinely guided that there are some things in your life that need to change. They need to be excised. They need, you need to take your sword. There are people, places, things, situations that are not serving you. And you need to have healthy boundaries. Trust the signs and symbols that you're getting from spirit. Because you've got nature, animals all around you. Here you've got Freya. She says that you're, you know, in a phase or in a cycle. Call upon Freya. If you, you know, believe in that, you can pray to her. Ask her for guidance. She's got spirit right here on her shoulder. There's another animal totem. Maybe you see ravens or crows a lot. Okay. But whatever path you're on right now, you're being told to reassess. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune's in the downward. You're, you're, the, it's turning. You're being given all the guidance that you need to turn the wheel in the upright. But it's going to be a process. 2020 is going to be all about you learning about yourself. Learning about why you allow certain people to treat you certain ways. Why maybe if you're um, single and you know, you're in the dating thing and you keep attracting the wrong kind of person into your life. Um, they all treat you poorly or, or not good enough or they ghost you. They're phases and cycles, okay? And usually it starts within us. Whatever's going on inside of you is, is the mirror that you need to be looking at to be reaching for the light, okay? Because you've got a lot of help here. You're going to get there, guys. I'm telling you, you're going to get there. So I want, what do I want? I don't know why I didn't call, I didn't draw for anybody else. Maybe I will, but I want some angel answers because I want to know what it is the angels are trying to help you with. Okay, what are they trying to help you with? Seeing work for some of you. I'm seeing finan finances. Oh, improving health. For some of you, you need to eat better. You need to work out. Uh, I'm hearing body, mind, spirit. Some of you guys have really been working on your spiritual side, your um, your mind. You know, what are you trying to create? Where are you being called to create is what I'm hearing. Because you've got this, where are you being called to journey to? And then the three of pentacles, that's creation, right? It's building. Okay, so improving health, I want one more. Take action. Yeah, you've got all kinds of support here. I'm just telling you, you got angels, angels, you got guides, you've got spirit animals. So I want to say that in 2020 you are going to be journeying you're going to be learning more about how to take care of your body your mind and your spirit you're reaching for the light you're divinely guided you might even be traveling because the six of swords can be a travel card uh the wheel of fortune being in the the downward uh or reversal i'm not worried about that because just the fact that it's on the table means that it's moving it's not stagnant it's not stuck okay and you all you need to do is reassess reassess okay um go within yourself i did i look at the bottom of the deck for you oh king of cups in the reverse though i'm hearing healing healing emotional physical 
body, mind, and soul is what I'm he hearing. That there's a healing that is happening and occurring for you in 2020. And this is what you're going to be working on. You're going to be working on listening to your spirit guides, taking action, movement. Okay, that's Six of Swords. You're going to think it through and you're going to move forward. That will cause this wheel of fortune to move in the upright you might be clearing old karma too because you are kind of stuck in a cycle okay with the healer of thought there that there's that word healing again right so you need to be looking at eating healthy drinking lots of water getting a little exercise you don't have to go overboard but you could take a walk go out in nature you're being given given signs and synchronicities to get you on your path i really wanted to know what the path was and none of these cards are telling me and sometimes that's purposeful sometimes it's spirit just not wanting you to really they don't want to tell you everything they want you to figure it out right but i'm going to just take a look can you tell me spirit what area in capricorn's reading what area needs to be healed and worked on? Boundaries. All right, got it. That's what it is, guys. Trusting your intuition. We've got the high priestess on the bottom. And stand your ground, seven of pentacles. See, this queen of swords is all about healthy boundaries. Um, not over giving. You know, maybe you're one of those people like, I am where you just give and you give and you give and you fill everybody else's cup, but you forget to accept, to receive, to allow others to give back. That could be that three of pentacles too. It's collaborating. It's, allow it's allowing other people to help. It's not doing something individually on your own. It's allowing other people to collaborate and help you. But you have to have healthy boundaries. So you got to quit being the one that gives and gives and gives. And you've got to be willing to open your heart chakra and receive. Because you had the king of cups in reverse, which is kind of being closed off to your emotions. And stand your ground is, is healthy boundaries. It's like know who you are. Know what you want. And don't let anybody take that away from you. And stop allowing people into your life that do not serve your highest and best life your question for 2020 that i want you to ask yourself with every person that comes into your life with every decision you have to make with every situation that you struggle in i want you to ask yourself does this support the life that I am trying to build for myself. Does this support the highest and best life that I am trying to create in 2020 for myself? Because it looks like you've got lots of ideas on what you need to be doing. You've got a lot of guidance and support from the spiritual realm and the physical because you got family and friends on the board too. And, and animals. So you've got a lot of support. But the thing is, is you need to ask yourself, uh, if you're single and you're dating, does this person um, show up in a way, I mean, do they represent what I want my future to look like? And don't settle, guys. Don't settle, okay? Ask yourself, every job, every situation, everything that you're doing, you want to ask yourself, is this in alignment and does it support the life that I am trying to create for myself in the year 2020? Okay, so that has been your reading. It was a little bit uh, tough to get down to the nitty and gritty, but I feel like it's body, mind, soul. I don't think it's one thing for you. I don't think it's just health. I don't think it's just um, spirituality. I don't think it's just romance and love. And I think it's everything, everything. 2020 is a big year, big, big energy. So you're being called by spirit to become the highest and best, healthiest version of you. Take care of your avatar. Take care of your body. That's a hard one for me. But take care of your body. Eat whole foods. Get away from processed foods. Uh, cut back on your carbs and your sugars, you know, refined sugars. Good carbs, good sugars. They're, they're okay. Uh, get a little walk in daily, you know. Try to do something at least 20 minutes a day to get your body moving. Dance. You know, get in your body. Get back in your body. And 
manifest your dreams through introspection. Go within. Go within. Don't just look at what's happening outside of you. What do you want? Get clear with the universe this year. What do you want and how can you best Im implement your wants, needs, and de desires healthy in a healthy manner in 2020? Okay, this has been your reading, guys. I hope it resonates. Please give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry they're so quick, but I've got 12 to do, and tomorrow's the new year. I wanted to make sure everybody gets their readings um, in a timely manner. So if you would like a personal private reading, the links are below. If you'd like to donate to my channel right now, would be a great time because I'm out of work for three months. But um, I am grateful, grateful. You could buy me a cup of coffee. There's a link for that down there, too. I love you. Namaste.